Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another Let's Get Messy Wednesday. This is a collab together with Tisa, Dolly and Amy and I will have all of their links listed in my description box so be sure to check them out. Now today I will be doing a 12 by 12 layout using this photo of my daughter and this was taken on the day that she was christened. She is about seven months old in this photo. Now on my layout today, I will be getting messy using some Vicky Vuitton Rose Gold Glaze. And as you can see here, I'm cutting down my photo to a five by four. And you can see on the bottom part of that photo, the date is there, but I will go ahead and cover that up later on in this process. Now, most of the items I use today will be from the Willow Collection from One Canoe 2. And I will go ahead and list all of the items I use today down in my description box. Now, my background will be that maroon colored pattern paper. And it's very hard to see, but there is a pattern on that paper. There is a bit of leaves on the background. Now, you can see here, I'm going to mat it on this second pattern paper but first I'm gonna go ahead and distress the edges a bit and I also got it out that pink pattern papers that way I can have the center portion to mat my photo on so here I'm gonna use this floral stencil together with that glaze to add a little bit of this mixed media to my background now this glaze is very soft and you do need to give it about an hour or so to dry I did help mine along with my heat tool and I did not get any warping and I did not add any gesso to my background before using this glaze now here you can see I'm just pushing it through the stencil and skimming off the excess from the top of the stencil now once I added these two stenciled pieces to the top and bottom i let it dry for a bit and then i went in again and added some more of this stencil work so here you can see i got a little bit of the glaze where i did not want it so i used that moist baby wipe to remove it and it removed really easily but i do suggest you do that while the glaze is still wet so here I'm just going to go ahead and add a bit more stenciling to the top and bottom. Then I'll put it aside to dry while I work on the mats behind my photo. So here you can see I have a second sheet of that maroon pattern paper and I got it out the center. That way I can use the outer edge as a mat later on on a future layout. And I'm going to go ahead and mat my photo on this first of all. Then I'll flip it over and mat it on the other side as well. And that way I bring in a bit of that mustardy yellow to the layout. So as you can see here, these colors in this collection, the Willow Collection is gorgeous and it goes really well with that Vicky Booten Rose Gold Glaze. So here I'm going to go ahead and map my photo once again on this light pink pattern paper and then I'll distress the edge before adding it to my background. So I wanted to add a little embellishment cluster to the top right corner of my layout and I decided to do a flip off the edge as well. So now I'm going to add in a bit of that branding strip that was emerald green and that way once I flip the edge of my page you will see that little bit of emerald green peeking out. Next up I'll go ahead and adhere my photo to my background using some foam adhesive and that way I add a little bit of dimension to my layout with my photo lifted off the page and here you can see i'm adding in some gold splatters and yes i am mixing some yellow gold together with that rose gold but in the end it all ties together now for my title i am using these glittery 
white thickers foam thickers and it simply says sweet girl and i'm also going to bring in some of these asterisks as well that was on that sticker sheet next up i'm going to add in some stickers from the willow collection and go ahead and begin working on my embellishment clusters so I went ahead and added some of these foam adhesive circles behind my floral pieces from that sticker sheet as well as these butterflies that I'm going to add right now. And that way my pieces are lifted off the page and adds a bit of dimension to the layout, especially those butterflies. I love the look of them with the, the wings lifted off the page. Now I went ahead and added my journaling to this card and that is a card from the die cut pack from the Willow collection and once I added it in I did not like how it looked. So here you're going to see me just go ahead and cut it apart and once I added it that way I loved it a lot better. So to finish up my clusters, I'm just making sure that all of them have a really good balance of all of the colors that I'm using today on my layout. And the ones that's standing out a lot would definitely be that emerald green and the mustardy yellow. Now you can see on the right side of my, of my video, I have a few white leaves that I punched out using a punch and I am going to add those in as well because my title is white, my daughter is wearing a white dress and I just wanted a pop of white again on this layout just to bring it all together. Now once I add those white leaves in, I'm just going to add adhesive, some liquid adhesive to the bottom part of the leaves. That way the top part is lifted off. And here you can see I'm going to add in some of these frames from the die cut pack to finish off the clusters to the top. And I add two of those frames up top and the parts of the frame that I cut off that's hanging off the page right now, I will go ahead and add them to that bottom cluster as well. So I'm just going to continue adding in some bits and pieces from the sticker sheet as well as the die cuts and I will give you guys a close up look at the end of this process as well as some still shots so you'll get to see all of these details later on. Now you can see here that the yellow gold splatters that i added previously blends in really nicely because of that mustardy yellow in this willow collection so everything blends together really well and i just love all of these colors together so here i'm going to continue adding in my bits and pieces then i'll go ahead and add some nuva drops So as you can see here, I did pull out the enamel dots from the Willow collection to use on my layout, but I decided to just go with the Nuvo drops only. And here I'm just going to add in some raspberry pink, I believe it's called, but I will go ahead and add the exact color down in my description box. And I do know that this one I'm using here would be Copper Penny, and they go really well with these colors that I use on this layout today. So up next, I'll give you guys a close-up look at all of the details on this layout and be sure to check out everyone's channels down below and be inspired by all of their projects that they're sharing with you guys today and go ahead and give some mixed media a try on your next layout. I really really love how this layout turned out and I hope you guys enjoy the process as well. Now if you did be sure to give me a thumbs up before you leave and if you're not already a subscriber to my channel I do hope you consider subscribing today. So I want to thank you all for watching and until my next video, bye.